Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. In this video, we'll be talking about the primary dentine and its time. So let's get started. Okay, so primary dentine, it is the dentine which is formed before the root completion. It is most prominent dentine in the tooth. It lies between enamel and pulp chamber basically near the DEG that is the dentino enamel junction. Now if we talk about its formation rate it is 4 micrometers per day. So it is formed at a rate of 4 micrometer per day. Let us talk about its subtypes. First up is the mantle dentine. Mantle dentine it is the first formed dentine in the crown underlying the DEJ. Primary dentine first formed hai, usme bhi jo first formed hai, that is mental dentine underlying the DEJ. It is outer or most peripheral layer closest to the dentine. It is unique to rest of the primary dentine. Okay. The word mantle means to envelop. So it envelops the remaining dentine. Its thickness is about 20 micrometers. Okay, so the mantle dentine, if you talk about its function, see it basically lacks phosphorylation and it has loosely packed collagen fibrils. It is less mineralized as compared to the remaining dentine. Now, so it is soft because it is less mineralized as compared to the remaining dentine. So it is soft and it provides a cushioning effect to the tooth. Remember, mental dentine envelops the remaining dentine. It is it has loosely packed collagen fibrils. There is no or less mineralization. It lacks phosphorylation. So it is soft and provides a cushioning effect to the tooth. That is its function. On an ultrastructural level, if we see, then these collagen fibrils, they are formed, they are perpendicular to the dentino enamel junction. Okay, now certain large diameter collagen fibrils, these are known as coarse fibers, they are argylophilic, large diameter collagen fibrils or the collagen fibers are coarse fibers, they are argylophilic. These collagen fibrils, they are 0.1 to 0.2 micrometer in diameter. And basically it is the type 3 collagen. Okay. The type of mineralization, it has fewer defects than the circumpurple dentine. The matrix vesicles are involved in the mineralization of mantle dentine. And thus the globular type of mineralization takes place. Okay, the remaining part or the remaining portion of the dentine is the circumpulpal dentine. It forms the remaining primary dentine or the bulk of the tooth. It is a more mineralized dentine as compared to the mantle dentine. Now, it is secreted after the mantle dentine formation by the odontoblast. And remember, circumpulpal dentine, though secreted after mantle dentine, but its formation is completed before root formation takes place. If we see on a ultrastructural level, it has a smaller diameter collagen fibrils. Its diameter is about 0.05 micrometers. Okay. The collagen fibrils in the circumpulpal dentine are more closely packed. Next, if we see the uh, type of dentine which immediately surrounds the uh, dentinal tubule, the dentine that immediately surrounds the dentinal tubule, that is the prime peritubular dentine. Okay. The type of dentine or deposition of mineral on the inner tubule wall, that is intratubular dentine. See. 
the peritubular dentine is highly mineralized dentine 9 percent more dentine then which is present between means it is 9% more mineralized than the intertubular dentine okay see the thickness of the peritubular dentine it is twice in the outer dentine then in the inner dentine 2 is to 1 ratio ka thickness ka peritubular dentine ka in outer and inner surface of the dentine the matrix of the peritubular dentine is lost after decalcification. Here, the collagen fibers in the tubules are masked. Okay, then an inorganic, inner organic lining of the calcified tubule wall is known as lamina limitans. The inner organic lining, not inorganic, okay, it is the inner organic lining of the not inorganic it is the inner organic lining of the calcified tubule wall which is known as lamina limitans it has high glycosaminoglycan content and this is similar to the lining of the lacunae in the bone okay we have seen dentinal tubules the peritubular and intertubular dentine now if we talk about intertubular now if we talk about intertubular dentine so what is intertubular dentine intertubular dentine it forms the main body of the dentine which is located between the dentinal tubules or we can say it is located between the zones of the peritubular dentine marked with blue intertubular marked with pink dentinal tubules marked with light blue okay see the in, it forms the main body of dentine located between the zones of peritubular dentine. It is 9% less mineralized than the peritubular dentine. Its matrix is retained after calcification, decalcification. Okay, so one half of the peritubular dentine, it is made up, it is made up of organic matrix. Organic matrix me kya collagen fibers which are randomly oriented around the tip, uh, tubules and the diameter of these fibrils is 0 0.5 to 0 0.2 micrometers there is cross banding in this collagen fibrils at 64 nanometers rest half is made up of inorganic matrix the inorganic matrix as we know it would be of hydroxyapatite crystals the length is about 0 0.1 micrometers and these hydroxyapatite crystals are arranged parallel to the collagen fibers. So this is it about the primary dentine and its types that is mental and circumpulpal. In the coming video, we'll be talking about tertiary and secondary dentine. So stay tuned. Keep visiting. Thank you.